Greetings and peace. I hope you and yours are doing well today, wherever you might be watching this from. Now, the title of today's video will be the importance of following your own heart. We grow up in, in these societies and in this, in this world where everything kind of is branded to you. When you have the innocence and the heart mind of a child, where everything is basically one to you, and you look at everybody, you give them the smile of love and acceptance. But when we grow up, we're taught to have different perceptions of race, religion, socioeconomic statuses, who's who, who's what, who's defending their own centric beliefs. And the main idea is, before you claim superiority over any race, religion, or title, first learn how to be a decent human being, because that is what will exemplify you. Because that aspect and that struggle between light and darkness exists in all races, religions, groups, and countries in the world. It's not exclusive to America. It's not a, just an American problem. That human element is the same everywhere you go. Now the question comes when you're taught who to hate, what to believe, what's right, what's wrong. Nobody's taught the importance of following your heart. Because in the Sufi tradition, Almighty God, Allah, is that hidden treasure that wanted to know itself through itself. And it's in the human heart. You have that within you. You don't need no imam, rabbi, or priest, or any middleman in between to establish that connection between your heart and the Most High. That's you. You are that element, as it says in the Holy Quran, that you are responsible for your own souls. So you can't, at the end, you can't blame anybody. You can't blame God. You can't blame the devil. You can't blame anybody. You are given this life, and you have to follow your heart and your intuition. Always stand by your truth, know what your heart is telling you, and act upon it. There's a reason why you get certain cognitive feelings and that synchronicity before it happens, you just kind of get that feeling because you as human beings are powerful. You just never been taught that. You never been taught how to be happy. Every Whoever I meet, the first thing they ask me, hey, what do you do for a living? They never ask me, what is it? What is the meaning of life? Why are we here? Did we just come here to ask each other what do you do for a living and where you live and what are your credentials and background? What's any of that going to do for me? You ha it's only for this life. You have it today, you don't have it tomorrow. If you go from this life, you're not going to take that with you. What you will take with you is your spiritual wealth and what good did you do for yourself and others with the time that you were given. That's the real wealth. And when it comes time to make decisions, have judgments, uh, understand others, rarely we act upon the heart. We're always looking at these pre-packaged uh, information that's already been given to us on how to judge situations, scenarios, places, peoples, etc. But that's why the human heart is under attack with war, desensitization between men and women, these different movements I see in the West that kind of divide men and women. There's all of this stuff going on. I could go on and on with so many factors and scenarios that I can list and nobody's being taught the importance of the human heart. I go around here, I see people who are well set, educated, I mean, they got all their titles and degrees, etc. But I see they're lacking, they're empty inside. They're spiritually not happy because they were never taught inner happiness. They were never taught inner happiness, just how to be a worker in this uh, slave factory, paying taxes, paying this, paying that, a system that's not designed to give you a break and you could spend your whole life paying off your house you don't pay the local taxes they'll still come and take it from you so at the end you are never taught the importance of your heart and listening to your heart to enjoy this short human life while it's been given to you so please um, whenever you're about to, whenever you're facing a situation person place thing listen to your heart let your heart be your guiding key trust your intuition and you will know how far it will take you. From experience, you will begin to have those realizations and synchronicities. So you have to act upon that yourself and start taking your heart and your, the feelings of your heart seriously when it comes to understanding any person, place, thing, or scenario that you get placed in. So much love to all of you and thank you.